British Museum director Hardwick Fisher has said he will step down from his role, after treasures were stolen from the London institution. In a statement, he said it was evident the museum did not respond as comprehensively as it should have when it was told about the thefts in 2021. Mr Fisher also withdrew remarks he made earlier this week about the art dealer who first alerted museum bosses. He said he expressed sincere regret over the misjudged comments. The museum announced last week that it had sacked a member of staff after treasures were reported missing, stolen or damaged. Earlier this week, Mr Fisher defended the museum's investigation in 2021, when it had told antique stealer at Tigratel that all objects were accounted for. Mr. Fisher said he had reason to believe Dr. Gradil had withheld information on other missing items, a comment Dr. Gradil said was an outright lie. Dr. Gradil told BBC News on Friday that Mr. Fisher's resignation was the right thing to do, I think he should have done it sooner but I do accept his apology. Mr. Fisher, who has held the position since 2016, said he would step down as soon as the museum's board had found an replacement. He had previously announced he would leave the position, but he was not due to depart until 2024. The museum was first warned by Dr. Gradle of thefts from its collection two years ago. Emails seen by the BBC suggest Towers had become suspicious when he stumbled upon a photo of a Roman cameo fragment that he said had been put up for sale online. He suggested the item had previously been listed on the museum's website but had since been removed. The museum said it would investigate, but when Dr. Gradle sent emails to follow up on progress, he accused Mr. Fisher of sweeping it all under the carpet. Earlier this week, a man was interviewed by the Metropolitan Police in connection with the thefts. No one has been arrested. According to the PAW News Agency, the missing items are believed to have been taken over a significant period of time. Some of them reportedly ended up on eBay, being sold for considerably less than their actual estimated value. None of the treasures, which dated from the 15th century BC to the 19th century ad, had recently been on display and had been kept primarily for academic and research purposes, the museum said. The majority were kept in a storeroom.